Today it's Cliff from Down Under. In this series, Rapid Turn Set Up and Run, we're going to get into setting up the tool offsets. So once you've done it a couple of times, setting up your tool offsets is pretty simple. Mostly it doesn't have to be that accurate. If you're setting up a drill or a spotter, you can use a pointer like this because it's a concentric bore based type of tool. If it's an edge type of tool, like a parting tool or a turning tool or a boring tool, you can set it off a flat D-shaped setter. Here we have a piece of aluminium split in half and the flat surface represents the center line of the spindle. So you just turn it vertically to set the uh, tool off it sets one way and set it horizontally to set the tool off sets the other way and line it up by eye. Again you'll get it within a couple of thou and that's more than good enough for most situations. You can then dial in the exact diameters for example uh, once you've taken a test cut. So here I'm setting the main turning tool Y position with that split in half D shaped setter and just touching up on that face or almost touching up on that face and note from my previous drawing that it is where are we 1110.32 was that Y position so that's what will be on the code that I produced last time and you can see there where are we 1110.33 is basically the same position so I don't need to change anything well, as I said, I don't want to get too deeply into tool offsets, but maybe I should just do a quick introduction. So I've got my uh, main conventional turning tool down there, and we've got our half uh, diameter D-shaped setter. Put a piece of paper on, got it just touching, so that's 8 thou uh, diameter, or 4 thou thick, um, point 0.1 in metric, roughly. Okay, so we go to the page. If we've got... If, if we're starting from scratch, we want to select the tool. So we go to Reset Tool. We find that conventional tool there. So we just click on it. And now we can check the orientation as, as we expected. That's correct. Conventional turning tool. And the tool geometry, the tip geometry, is geometry number two. That's correct. We can set our diameter. We'll, we should take a test cut eventually. But we're just going to put in twice the thickness of that bit of paper. Uh, which is 0.2 if it was a diameter, enter twice. Now if we look down at the diameter, it's set on 0.2 diameter. So, so the tool is 4 thou above the center line, or 0.1 above the center line, 0.2 diameter. So it's as quick and simple as that, setting your tools. And you can look on the offsets page, and that was tool number 6. Look along here, and you can see it's already entered in the tip geometry of number two. So you can double check all those things that you've got it right. I know it sounds a bit confusing in the beginning, um, but after a while it sort of makes sense. Just going through that again while we're on a roll, now I'm setting the parting tool. I had that D-shaped setter set vertically and I lined up the Y and I looked on my uh, previous drawing and it's minus 69.7 and here you can see that's approximately the same, so we know the Y is okay. Now we've just turned it round 90 degrees, put a bit of paper on the top, set our parting tool down on there. It's just dragging on the fourth hour paper, 0.1 thick, 0.2 diameter. Gone to our settings page. All right, here we are. Now we're just going to go reset tool. What number tool is it? Oh, I nearly made a mistake there. This is tool number two. So, okay, good chance to do that. Just check that. Tool number two. So we enter number two up here. Enter, make sure it's set down here. Tool number two is in place. We're going to reset tool. It's a parting tool coming down from the top. Well, there we go. It's that one there, isn't it? So we click on that. And you can see the geometry there. It's working off that edge in the bottom. Um, and we have a diameter of about 0.2 so we're going to enter that there 0.2 enter enter twice to engage it and now we have it set there so that's the parting tool done and so on um, so that's tool geometry number 
two for tool number two. Just checking the tip geometry. And so, um, just that's just a good excuse to go over another tool setting situation. And now we've got the slotting tool. If you want to set the uh, little D-shaped setter accurately vertical, you can use a square and check that you've got it rotated to the exact precise position. Probably a good idea in some situations. Come in until a bit of paper's just biting on the D flat and then uh, do the maths. Um, half the thickness of the tool and take into account the paper and then you can check or set your Y coordinate for that particular offset. Well here's an, a good example to talk about something else when setting your Y offsets. So we just touched up with a bit of paper on the side with that D setter and if we look at the notes here uh, at that point where the paper was in there the Y DRO was saying it was in a position of 2.02 by the time we take into account the paper it should be 2.12 and then half the thickness of that slotting tool would bring it out to 3.07. So the Y DRO would be 3.07. Now we could just change the Y DRO to that, but here's, here's something that's interesting. So the Y DRO needs to be 3.07, but previously when we ran the code, here we are, the Y DRO was set at 3.0. So this is a trap. Um, we either, if we change the Y DRO, remember earlier on we've already set the Y DRO to that setting there. Y minus 186.63. So if we, we can only do that once, we can't change the Y DRO again because they're all relative to each other. So this is where it's a good good to have an understanding and this is a good example so instead of 3.07 um, position we don't change that we leave it at that and we go into the code and where it said y 3.0 last time we just edit the y to 3.07 and that's taken into account the slightly different setup this time so we've just gone on to edit the code, we found the y, y tool move here, and we're just going to change it to 3.07 and enter that, and now it'll move to a, a slightly more accurate position. So we've just been through and set all the X positions, that's the diameter in lathe mode and we've set all the Y positions, that's the gang tooling positioning moves and now we're going to set the Z, so we'll go to a number one conventional turning tool, face off the end of the stock, come back up to tool number six which is our conventional turning tool and uh, that's it there and just we face the end so we can just enter zero there have to put a value in and enter that twice and there you can see your Z is on zero. Now we just go back through to the other tools, select the correct number, you can enter it here in the MDI and uh, just change the Z position to the correct position for all those different tools. We can also take a skim cut while we're at it and mic the diameter it's 19 millimeters and we had it set with the paper slightly out 19.02 so we can correct that via this uh, setting here not via the DRO or we'll throw the whole thing out but via here if we want to get that 0.02 uh, dialed in 100 percent probably enough for that video thanks for watching remember to post in the comments if you've got any opinions about rapid turn that could help others Thank you.